Welcome back, everybody. When it comes to construction, raising your home not only makes sense, but it's also required in some areas of Houston. I recently met up with Kathy Cake. She's a certified floodplain manager with Raised Floor Living. She showed us how a raised foundation can really protect your home during a flood. A lot of us pay a lot of attention to the aesthetic value of a home, but we don't really think about what's behind the walls. That's key. Yes, that's really important. I would say that a homeowner should pay as much attention to the exterior frame of the home as they do to selecting the countertops or the kitchen cabinets. The exterior frame and the foundation are really what will save you in an extreme wind event and also protect your family. Yeah, you mentioned extreme wind event. We certainly know in the Houston area at any given season we could have a hurricane blow through. Uh, we've had in the last few years. So when we talk about wind events, Let's talk about wind codes and what wind codes mean. Yes. Well, Houston is so close to the Gulf of Mexico, so the potential for very high wind speeds is there. So the building codes require in this area to design for 110 miles per hour, which is a pretty strong wind. Yeah. In the house that we're standing in, I've learned that they've actually designed for higher wind speeds than that. So that's actually a good idea to make sure your house is designed and built to meet or exceed the building code. Yeah, and that is the roof, the floors, everything. Yes. And the key for any type of building material in a wind situation is to make sure that everything is pop properly connected together. You need to make sure that your roof, your walls, your floor, the foundation, everything is key and connected together. When you say connected together, what are you talking about in, in general? I know I'm looking at some things up here. Can you point out specifically what those connections should look like? Yeah, well there should be hurricane straps, there should be hurricane clips. Um, you'll see a lot of metal pieces that connect things together. You can also use the sheathing on the side of the walls to actually hold everything together. It's also important to make sure you have the right permits for the job. Talk about what the permitting process is meant to do. The permitting process is meant to safeguard the homeowner, to make sure that everything has been designed properly, to make sure that everything is actually built the way it's supposed to be built, and that's important, again, for protecting your family. Yeah, and at any given time throughout the process, someone will come in and inspect before all the sheetrock and stuff goes up? That's right, and that's key to make sure that you have all those hurricane straps in place. All right, so when we talk about the frames and being strong, um, a lot of people realize that wood can be very, very strong, but some people think that wood might not be as durable. Okay, well, wood is very strong. Pound per pound, it's stronger than steel and concrete. And the key with any building material is making sure everything is properly connected together. And wood is also a renewable, sustainable resource, and it's produced right here in Texas. Yeah, and a lot of homes in America are built mostly out of wood. Yes, more than nine out of 10 homes in America are built with wood. Okay, now that we have our home built, we want to make sure that we have it protected. Uh, so homeowner's insurance, this is one of those things that so many people don't realize what they really are covered for and they need to ask the right questions and make sure they have the right coverage for the area they live in. Right, there are two types of insurance that a homeowner should have to protect their home and their belongings. The first is homeowner's insurance. And that protects against fire, high winds, and other catastrophes. What it doesn't protect against is rising water, and that's what flood insurance is for. And that's where it gets confusing for a lot of people, because yep. if your house flooded because you broke a pipe, then your homeowner's insurance will probably cover that. However, if it's pouring down rain and that water's coming up from the ground into your house, that's a different girl. Then you need flood insurance. And the key to having or lowering your homeowner's insurance is making sure that your home does meet or exceed the building codes. Insurance companies recognize that homes that are built to the code perform better and therefore they give you reductions in your insurance. Yeah, and speaking of flooding, the house that we're on right now is on a raised floor, if you will. Uh, how does that protect against flooding? I think it's, it's, it's obvious when you actually see it, but a lot of times people will drive by and not realize what a house how it's built well obviously elevating your home up off the ground will protect you and make things better for your home all right thank you very much thank you Raised for a living will make the dream of one lucky Houston area homeowner come true. You can win the opportunity to have your dream home designed by a professional architect. To learn more about that opportunity and the many benefits and features of a raised floor home, log on to raisedfloorliving.com.